And we're all waiting for the Backyard Boys to show up. Whoops, I heard myself. Sounded very pleasant. More pleasant, surely, than anything you're about to hear on this evening's broadcast. I'm hanging upside down right now in a very awkward position and probably doing better than these cunts could ever dream or imagine. All here tonight on the Uncle Frico Show! It's going to be a good time. didn't even work because you don't see the stupid picture. Get to hit those thumbs up, everybody. Like and subscribe and all that. Show your crab love. Show them you've got the itch. I guess we'll just have to listen to it again. And a big crab nation. Hell no to Jerry Shepardini in the chat. Fuck off, buddy. <laughs>
Yes. Backyard boy. Backyard boy. Ball yank boy. Hello and welcome to the BYB podcast. That sounds for the backyard boys. And oh my tonight, God, that chud fuck Stevie Lou is there again. Uh, it's gonna be zero dark Tony. He's a live streamer. He's a YouTuber. He's a former actor and all around rabble rouser. Welcome. Backyard boys. boys. <laughs> yeah. This guy gets it. Clip it. How you doing this evening, sir? Well, thank you so much for having me. I appreciate you guys. Oh, uh, I can't uh, wait for on. what we've got in store, guys. These things uh, that we were discussing earlier. And uh, love the show, fellas. I really appreciate you having me. Good evening, everybody. How, hello to the chat. Uh, I do not see the chat, so they're going to bring up the questions for me. And I, yep. uh, I'm not. A, I, I scared enough. But let's get into it. Big nice. Eagles fan, real happy. There's about nothing the Super Bowl. to be scared of. The BYB censors their uh, entire I'm fucking not chat. A follower of football, really. But I just wore this shirt because I know a lot of people that watch this really hate the fucking Eagles. So I just wanted to <laughs> put this on to add a little <laughs> irritant to the people whose teams did not make it to the greatest uh, single sporting event. Of all events this year, thank you. Well, we don't we don't want Philadelphia to win because we don't want to watch Philadelphia burn. Exactly, we don't want Philadelphia to lose either because uh, everybody will. I wonder we'll, how we'll, Sweet yeah, exactly. Bobby's cancer is doing. That, that was a little picnic the other day. Uh, quick story: We've One heard nothing a, about it since he he came and game. told his little tale. The fans burned down his house because he lost a pitcher. Like lost. You could look some of that up. Crazy. Nice brother. Oh. Yeah, so uh, more recently, uh, you got in a little dust up with a vehicle. I uh, wanted to kind of get into that and hear really, they're story putting about Bobby Nick center fucking square and not their guest. You know, I exactly? can't really, I can't really say too much about it, but uh, I was hit by a vehicle. It was a hit and run, and uh, I'm really lucky that I'm just somebody who takes care of myself in general. So my face and everything is healing up pretty quickly. I'm going to have some scarring. I might have to have some eye surgery and some spinal surgery and stuff. And my neck is still fractured, but I, I can be out of the collar for a little while. It doesn't really, it doesn't affect anything, but my head just feels super heavy after a while because I got a big, I got a big well, dome. Well, he said he was here. hit, so, but he didn't so confirm that, the run. Really just kind of keeps so the weight I, I of, think he's basically uh, saying, and, you know, he's a lying piece that, of I'm shit. I'm really glad that uh, I'm alive and I'm here because I didn't go to the hospital at first. I, I actually fell asleep. I did the dumbest thing you could possibly do. Uh, and, oh, uh, yeah, because you probably had a concussion to was start all, with, I was right? Up. I was all fucked up. And I just went to sleep. I'm moving around with my neck all fucking fractured and all that shit, so. I'm you glad I got on an Instagram. And Peter Sinai, uh, Fast Track, the hottest nurses I have ever seen anywhere. God <laughs> bless. Nothing, nothing wrong with that. Shout out. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Cedar Sinai Emergency. Thank you so much. You guys saved my life. Well, we're glad you're here, buddy. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's not a good story. Well, uh, just was it right by your house or? It was, was it, it was it was very general? close. Was Jerry Shepardini, come on, yeah. man! No I fucking way. Here, you know, you know. Uh, I live to I live to fight another day, and uh, and we'll see. Uh, I'll keep everybody posted on what happens with that. You have uh, suspicions about what happened? I mean, I it's guess just, that's it's, a it's yes a or no. Pop. You know, it's really just fifty fifty. It was either uh, intentional or, or accidental. I mean, it's really they're one still, of the. Other. They're still looking for the vehicle that hit you. Some of those things are in motion. I got you. So I, 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 you know, I can't speak to how or where any of any footage would come from. I just, you know, kind of out of it. So I'm let the professionals handle it. Who's got? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get on into it because uh, my first thought, my first question was uh, your thoughts. I got. So she just, oh, uh, Liza Blue, who uh, I don't know if all the fans are aware of the entire story, but uh, someone who has, says they were sex trafficked and has pretty much been making uh, money and doing appearances and whatnot all over the place, 
um, streaming, uh, even as far as like Tim Cast and Chrissy Mayer and all that, um, pretty much is making a living off of her uh, helping uh, victims of sex traffic trafficking while making a living doing it. Um, and I guess it's now come into question whether or not she was ever actually sex trafficked in the first place. Um, so I noticed that the other day she posted this as in this is her abuser possibly, or do you know? Any... No, I, believe this is a, I believe this is the reporter who is supposed to be, I forget his name, but I believe he is the reporter. And I'm stepped away making pasta and journalist whatever, and whatnot who was hired by I had to Tim come Cass, back and right. So say that and Tim Cast, I think not sort of said, this guy's the legit dude to go in on this. And um, <laughs> I haven't really heard anything from him. Yeah, so the, per I, I, the person who would know about this individual more would be uh, Farron, uh, Farron Balanced, who I actually right. retweeted earlier. So if you go to my Twitter, I retweeted something that Farron tweeted earlier. So she she put something up about this um, particular shot and this gentleman uh, somehow um, compromising his integrity with the way he. D I, I don't want to say the exact word. You'll just if you if you went to my Twitter, it's something I retweeted within the last few hours. Um, so that would be something to look at because I'd be interested to say, to hear what she had to say, um, about that in particular, because I would defer to her expertise regarding other journalists in this field. But, um, uh, you know, I, I think that, uh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Uh, let's read the top of this. Somebody want to read that? Shane Cashman. That's who he is. Shane Cashman. Hey. How does it feel losing it all? Your journal. How does it feel losing all your journalist? I sound like Bob Levy. How does it feel uh, losing all your journalistic integrity for uh, Eliza? Damn dude, great writer, but no one will believe you after this debacle. So there's an article here attached at the bottom. Let's uh, see where that goes. So he's pretty much been put into place by Tim Cast to give credence to her story from the past. Uh, is oh, that so he this is his article. Effort? Oh, yeah. See, this is supposed to be part one of a multi-part series. So now here's the deal. To me, from where I'm sitting, this is, looks like total puff bullshit. Right? Yeah. So I, I just I don't I, I don't give this any credence at all. I, I look at this and and I see what's going on between Tim and Jeremy and all this stuff. And I, I believe that there are, I've been talking about publicity firms. And all of a sudden today, you know, Jeremy is like, I didn't know he had a publicity Verb. like dude i i tried to i try to let people know that this is what these the people who control the media are the people who control the signal the narrative which way it goes right so these publicity companies and reputation companies especially the ones in hollywood um ones that i have put up on my twitter and and suggested that these might be the people because i'm telling you there's only a couple companies that have the resources to do something like this and it's the ones that I that I tweeted. But when you see the situation, these reputation um, companies, this is this is military grade operations. You could bet that uh, that Jeremy and and Brittany and the people that are are sort of putting this out there that their their phones are they're being surveilled, they're being watched. Um, there's no doubt. About are it. those are those companies actually big enough that if they wanted to make a complete cover up of a thing that is fake? that they would have the ability to yep. like wash it all completely. Yep. Absolutely. So Absolutely. if if Tim Cass wanted and those people wanted to make the uh the lie, the grift go away, they possibly could do that. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> it, yeah, yeah, cuz I mean that I but, mean that but, but so allegedly uh, how about how about allegedly yeah. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly you deb skippy because the resources that they have are everything. No, look, if you look back a few years and you look up a guy, he was a private investigator. He worked for Weinstein and all these other guys. His name was Anthony Pelicano. He went to prison for a lot of his um, uh, crimes involving his private investigator firm and license. He would tap phones. He would do things illegally. He would make sure things got put in newspapers that were bad about 
uh, people who were going against his clients that he was trying to cover up and protect. A very big story, Anthony Pelicano. It's quite a rabbit hole. I recommend everybody go down it if you want to understand how powerful Hollywood really is. And this is with one guy. He was a one-man fucking wrecking machine. And if you hired him to uh, besmirch or, uh, <laughs> you know, there he goes. Anthony Pelicano, criminal activities and subsequent legal matters, right? Yeah. So, I mean, he was tied in. You could just see. I, I don't have my glasses on, so you guys are going to have to. There's a little Gary Shandling, Sylvester Stallone, Keith Carradine. I could see. So, read some of the names out here, guys, like some of the shit that he did, you know? Some of the people that he worked with. And, Kevin Nealon. Yeah. All what was right. the crime? What was the crime there? Alleged crimes included racketeering, conspiracy, wiretapping, witness tampering, identity theft, and destruction of evidence. Let me tell you something. Jeremy from the quartering d wouldn't stand a chance against this guy, let alone these, these, these creators that are deciding that they are going to, one at a time, uh, try to engage this type of system. It's, so he, it's, it's, it's this guy would also be... Disorderly. This is also the guy that would reach out and pay out settlements and have people signing NDAs and that kind of like behind the scenes, like the Weinstein story, because we've heard yeah, that no, he, he, he was having, he would he, have people threatening yeah. and yep. then make people sign NDAs and pay them out yep. settlements. And obviously, like people like Rose McGowan, she signed one too, but later decided, hey, I'm going to come out and, uh, and talk to the media which never even covered the story. So obviously media is capable of just brushing shit under the rug and ignoring stories. Well, I mean, Watch. one could only speculate why would someone like Sylvester Stallone, who has been publicly accused of uh, all sorts of uh, crimes against uh, all different types of uh, people, uh, why would he have to hire somebody like that, right? Anybody who hired Anthony Pelicano was up to something bad. That's it. That's all there is to it. You, were, you weren't doing something right. You wouldn't even know his name, right, if you weren't doing something bad. That's all. That's a good point. I mean, sounds shady to me. Okay, so um, so Eliza was arrested, and, uh, like, I, I saw that you got into a dust-up. I guess we'll bring up Frank Pellegrino. Pellegrino? Pellegrino. 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 Okay. Yeah, Pellegrino. Um, that that's kind of one of the first dust ups I saw or um, just out of all fairness, we're all fans of Chrissy and Frank and we're, um, you know, like our, our rules collide <laughs> consistently. <laughs> okay. I'm a fan of Chrissy. Okay. Yeah. I, and whatever. I, I didn't come on here to like uh, show no, no, dirt saying, at I any of I'm those folks. That I am not a fan of Frank just simply because of the way I was treated. I, 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 look, I originally, when this started, when I started to message her and think, I start to look up who did um, interviews with her. And I was like, Holy shit, Chrissy did two interviews with her. How is I it? Think she, she said she's done four, from my understanding, with Eliza Blue. I, I only saw two, and I just went from two that I saw because one was with her, and one was with her, and the one that was with her. She was dressed, Eliza was dressed like Stevie fucking Nicks. You should see this fucking outfit that she had on. <laughs> she looked like a freaking, she looked like she just, you know, like her sister got a house dropped on her. You should see this fucking thing. If you can find it, she looks, she is, she's got a hat on. Like, oh, no. she, it looks like a fucking like legendary skin in a video game. It's ridiculous what she's wearing. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> and these two, and so I couldn't go any further because those two said to me, like, okay, well, I'm just going to, I'm just going to, you know, bip, bab, you know, Frank will, blah, 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 he'll get it all cleared up. This will be no problem. So then I asked him, and then I tagged a couple people in some tweets or added somebody in some tweets. I'm, I'm pretty, I don't know all the Twitter fucking functions, obviously. Um, as in, don't tweet. Like, that's the one function that I don't understand. <laughs> But yeah. the, uh, but the basic thing was I went to him and I started to ask him questions and he was evasive in the beginning. He was not answering the questions about, well, what happened with Eliza? But eventually after I had to like work him like a freaking side of ribs in Rocky one uh, to get this 
pull the teeth out of him to get this fucking information because he wouldn't answer me. And I'm just telling you guys what happened, dude. I don't give a shit about being on anybody's show or this or that. I, I like everybody. I'm just telling you what happened. All right. I'm not shitting on anything. Yeah, of course. I'm sorry. Uh, got- did I say that out loud? Okay. So <laughs> the um, the message that I sent, the exchange that we had, finally I was able to get out of him, you know, well, no, we didn't check. And no, we didn't pay her. You know, this is kind of the conversation we had. Um, so that was what I gleaned from it and sort of moved on. And he was not, uh, what's up, Kay? He was not um, just really just Bobby down there. He's, He's like, like a fucking space said, cadet doped up weirdo just be fucking story. dancing I'm, in his head or something while this is going I, on. I have my, Bruce is nodding out. Get into private uh, message, Bobby you know, Nick is like sitting in a puddle of his out. own shit. Like and Brandon, sort of hi, like Brandon. He's watching our chat. View of the conversation, and you guys will just have to take my word for it because, you know, that's all. I'm just not going to, you know, did I go off on Frank? Of course I did. But it was for a reason, right? And um, I'm a student of war, gentlemen, and strategy. So eventually I got the answers that I needed. So then he started to ask me some questions, and then they started to go with it. Now, the only problem that I had was that they brought on this dude, Defango, and they didn't check on him. And it took me 30 seconds. And then later they donated to a charity that's under investigation, which I did a whole video series on two years ago. They've been under investigation for a long time. You have to do one search, O-U-R fraud, you know, and that's all you got to do. And you have to take responsibility for those things, and that's really it. Those two things, just, hey, we, we didn't bring up, uh, def- we brought Defango on, we didn't really look him up. We, everybody was just hasty and rush, rushing into it. Everybody did a great job just for that one little thing. <coughs> that's it. So then the other thing would be, the uh, I, I posted her tag is uh, sexy Alice Rose kind of is the name of it. and she was one of the first like small small creators that tweeted this along with an open secret, and I said to Frank early on I said bring her on man, you know she's gonna know more about this than this, you know dude who has this crazy company that like you know you guys saw the court records, you know I, I don't have to get into it I, I threw it down in my tweets there's some there's some shit that was going on that there's some some really heavy allegations now. Normally, if you're out there just doing your thing, that's fine. But if you're explaining something where you need to be, um, where you need to be a standard of truth, and you can't really have things like fraud, extortion, you know, these kind of things in your past, you know. Yeah, criminal activity. No, not criminal activity. I mean, look, you could be a drug that, fraud. Whatever. There's a certain thing. Yeah, fraud, fraud extortion. Yeah, criminal negligence, exactly specific talking, right. these kind of things. Then those kind of things kind of disqualify you from being on a panel, you know, in, in, in this sort of expertise level, right? Um, you know, so I, I don't have any financial crimes in my past. So to me, any other crimes that would be um, relevant would be those things, fraud, extortion, right? So, Or especially to be working with a, a non, yeah, what do they call those, non- um, when you're not making money off of the organization, a non um, profit, non profit. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Yeah, that's a dumb one not to get out. <laughs> so, um, you know, that was really the only problem that I had with the thing. And then when people were not listening and I'm getting to like my friends and people that are in this, like people that I know and they're not listening to me. Well, and then furthermore, I'm getting shit on because when my th- the only thing I really wanted out of this whole thing running away was when from frying my, meat to say uh, was that thing was called all non, I wanted was the hashtag non, free dark you know when you don't drop it off thing. that's all I wanted what's that called non, but I was told uh, that I was disturbing a certain uh, faction in this and that that's why you know that didn't happen bygones be bygones what are the fucking bridge who cares right what's done is done but the point is is this small creator who put this out in the first place should be brought up. I don't need a fucking shout out. I don't need anything from anybody. But just take this little fucking creator and give her fucking 10, 15 minutes and show her a little love. That's all. Is that so fucking difficult? Is it so fucking difficult to go, hey, we got a refund from OUR because we did look into it and they are bullshit and we're going to get our money back and we're going to give it to another organization. What's the problem with that? Right? That's it. That's all yeah, I'm I talking think- about. I think a, then, a lot of people don't just don't want to look bad. What? <laughs> yeah, a lot of people probably just don't want to look bad now that now that you know the 
the things are coming to light and it's going it to make people make, look bad because they, they no i'm just it's talking funny. about the platforming of eliza you know and now oh, that it's oh. all coming backwards and people probably just want They're, it to go away more than they want to, to like undo, talk about it i see them trying to undo some mistakes but you know these two little things it's why is everybody making a big deal out of it is what i want to know like why hasn't somebody just simply gone on and said you know hey Okay, we screwed up by bringing this guy on. But the information that he gave was legit. Like the stuff that he was talking about, he, he really was puffing himself up. But the information that he gave was from other people's stuff. So he gave the right shit, but he was just the wrong person. And when you're talking about, you know, and I mentioned this in my, is that I'm an I'm a, I'm a RA survivor, which means that I'm a ritual abuse survivor. And when I hear stuff like this and I see so many fake trafficking shit bullshit, Eliza is a second generation one of these. And I've done threads on this is that there are other ones from before here that I've dealt with. So the reason that I noticed this from Eliza is I was asking her questions and then someone else chimed in and said, oh, no, she helped rescue my niece. That is the exact same fucking line that I heard three years ago when I dealt with this other friggin' nut bar who was saying that they were this trafficking victim madison marquette jesse zebatar uh carmen struder these are people that are a part of this human trafficking grift that has generated hundreds of thousands if not millions of dollars over the past few years eliza is a fucking girl scout compared to some <laughs> of these grifters that take religion and they twist it in with this anti-trafficking message and it's really damaging it takes advantage of old vulnerable people that are lonely that that are that are just falling into it man and that for me when people i just if people can't defend themselves that drives me out of my fucking mind i hate that i don't like pete you know and as far as this whole thing i don't ever talk about kids or civilians or any of that shit but man just have the balls to check yourself a little bit we all got to do it sometimes that's all i'm talking about i don't even need a fucking apology fuck frank i don't give a fuck just do the right thing like uh, like the movie, the Spike Lee movie. And then yeah, when you get your I, own pizzeria, you can have your, your brothers, your cousins, your uncles. Thank you. Well, I, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like that. Uh, but also, it's like the Me Too movement, the Black Lives Matter movement. Of course, with any subject matter like... Yeah, exactly. With any subject matter like that, there's going to be grifters that come in from the outside and take advantage of a situation that they see. Like, uh, I, I, it's, it's kind of obvious for some of those, but I think well, this very, subject matter of the system, man, they're seasoned veterans of this system. They understand that if it bleeds, it leads. And if they yeah. jump on it, that they could capitalize on it. And that's cool. I'm all about that. That's great knowledge to have. I, I, I wish I had that kind of knowledge. I'm a shadow band type of type of guy, you know, if you're so authentic about your story, like she's obviously whatever. <laughs> You know, and, and like, but here's uh, what happens is the mass reporting from these crazy nutty, uh, you know, um, uh, audiences, right? They're going to believe yeah. no matter what. Right. Yeah. Well, I think I think the the problem that came with this subject matter is that it's such a touchy subject. Like uh, to not, you know, like me too. We were like, oh, we got to believe all women, but I, 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 it bleeds into like the sex trafficking thing, like. Well, you can't doubt someone's story. Um, and this is kind of a hard one to look into and figure out exactly if someone is telling a, a real story. You know what I mean? It, it, it's harder to suss out uh, information from because she could just say, oh, well, there was a month period of time back in this period of time. And, and who's going to be able to figure it out exactly? Like, I'm still, myself, still on the fence. Like, I don't want to jump to any uh, conclusions and say, no, everything about our story is bullshit. Because I, mm -hmm. I, you know, like, the more I hear, the more time goes on, uh, the less I believe out of anyone, the government, whatever. You know, you know what, what bro? It's hard to swallow. And, and I get that. Because you don't want to believe it. And this, you know, this brings me, look, man. This is the Al Pacino and fucking Godfather 3. Yeah. I, I have not been on for a while, you know? And this came up, and I was like, God damn it. You know what I mean? Fuck me. Like, I know that I'm going to get a lot of shit for this, but, you know, just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. You know what I mean? And, and I, I, I can't. I took quite a beating 
the last time and this time not as badly because imagine somebody who is doxing you who literally called up my mother and told her that I was dead. Oh. Okay, you understand oh. what I'm talking about here? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Just... Messaged my little sister and said that I had unalived myself. That's like gang stalking okay? shit. So, so, yeah, maybe I take a little personally. Yeah, no but, shit. But when I see this kind of thing happen and I see this guy in a grift, it made my fucking blood boil because I started to watch her a little cl more closely and I said, this is not what a, a trafficking survivor sounds like because I've heard them before. And what they do is they give times. They give places. Um, look up John Wedger. A lot, he's a little bit controversial, but he has interviewed some real uh, survivors of satanic ritual abuse. Yes, SRA. SRA, right? Yes. So... So it's a little bit, uh, it, it's, it's, it's much more intense. Mm -hmm. And I have uh, something coming up on my Rockfin channel where I'm going to actually bring people into, uh, we're going to look over this, this um, piece and take you really into the world of Eastern European uh, child sex traffickers, right? So uh, it goes very deep. It's very dark. <clears throat> and I think people should, should understand what's really going on. Uh, yeah. My mother deals and, with these people. And, and there's, there's, there's trafficking, and then there's just volunteering. And you, right. we don't know like how much money she's gotten from this, but you said she's gotten a Tesla, and uh, she's, she's uh, trying to start her own organization, it seems like. Well, if you look up that organization, and if you look up, here's what's really effed up about this story, is that she has an organization with one of the Epstein survivors, Virginia Guffrey. Now, of they say that yeah, they I saw that poster not involved anymore, very recently. But, but what that does is, gentlemen, this is the pretend this is the Kevin Bacon game, right? Every seven degrees of Kevin Bacon, yo, that's one fucking degree from Jeffrey Epstein. Does anybody see this? Has anybody noticed <laughs> yeah. that this is the fucking like that is one lily fucking pad in the Frogger game across you're across the street, bro? One more jump and you're across the street in Frogger. You see what I'm saying? Express. Like, how, more, how much more simple do I have to make it for people that, are, that I'm trying to tell this to? This is what I'm looking at, is why the fuck is she even involved with her? That's a bit close. Yeah, why, it's weird. Why these, I saw, why these, she, but she seemed to claim that Eliza's story is a lie from what I could see on that poster that she drew. Like, her, her drawing was like... Yeah, it... I mean, it it seemed to point that direction. Is that what you got out of it? I don't, I, you know, I, I only go on, on sworn statements and, and actual direct uh, words. Right. It's a, or, it's a poster. Know, it's a drawing. It's, it's, a, it's, it's uh, certainly circumstantial and, and conclusions can be drawn, but I'm the type of person that with my content, I just want people to ask questions and look into it themselves. I don't know the answers. You know, right. truth is truth is a fence around this thing that we can only get so close to, uh, right? Unless you have a certain kind of access. And yeah, we need to we need to figure out who Ugly Toe Guy is or whatever. Right. Whatever <laughs> you that saw is. that? Up, I'm TJ. Sure. No, I didn't see that. TJ. TJ Holly. Yeah, TJ Holly. Shout out. Yeah. So uh, obviously, uh, fair and balanced. She's making that documentary right now. Mm -hmm. She says it's a two-part series, from what I understand. So mm -hmm. we'll probably be seeing that here. In I the recommend near people future. look at it and review it. I'm sure that she'll do a fantastic job with it. Yeah. And then, uh, like, like I was saying, the first dust up I really saw you and Frank getting into was about the arrest picture. Uh, that's when I was aware that's of it. I know I'm you probably about. already. That's when he told me to just take the L and forget it. And why am I tagging all the creators? And, and Adam uh, said that I had weaponized autism and shit like that. But these are people that interviewed her. Right. And that's them trying to diminish and discredit me and make me look like I'm some kind of nut bar when, you know, uh, the, the, the friggin', uh, you know, the nails that I cut off of me have more brains than Krigler. Okay. So do we know what Start that was that arrest? Do we uh, know specifically what that arrest picture was for? I, I don't or, know what the arrest is, and, and people are having a hard time finding it. I mean, I haven't gone full on into finding out what that was because after that, so many more things were coming in, you know, yeah. uh, about this topic. So, 
Right. And, and, and Frank was I like, well, that, that picture could be from anything. And then you were like, well, I mean, well, it's just well, then like a... Where is it from then? If it could be from anything, then where is it from? I mean, why aren't we asking questions about this? Why am I doing a quick search and I'm seeing all this crap and Frank is interviewing her and boosting her and, and making her? That's what pissed me off. He, may, he helped make her. This is not, this is not, listen, it's not Chrissy's responsibility as the host to vet all her guests. That's the producer and booker. That's theirs. That's his job. That's all there is to it. That's just, that's just the fact. And I don't, I don't dislike him, but I think it was careless. And I think to shit on somebody like me, I'm just the wrong, I'm the wrong one. That's all. Yeah. I mean, I guess I could ask how you feel or like just the fact that you ended up beefing with all of these people. I feel better now. Frank, Chrissy, Farron, uh, Jeremy. Like I, this is the only time it, it I'm seems like this, you guys should way, all be like working together and trying to figure it I, out. I've, how many, my arm is f stiff and tired from holding out the olive branch, bro. I said that in a tweet, right? How, how, how much more can I explain it? Like, like, but this right here, this show, I just want you to know this is the this is the only time I'm doing this, right? I have to recover from my accident. I don't have, you know, right now, I I'm for the moment I need to think of my health before this because from a survivor standpoint, this pisses me off. From a creator standpoint, it pisses me off. And you know, I, I've I've at least earned my bones enough in how long I've been on YouTube to at least have people listen because they know I'm shadow banned. That's it. You know? And if we have friends in common, then everybody should fucking get along. Not sit there and, and make it a bigger deal because it was made a much bigger... See how little it was, you guys? Right? That would have taken 10 yeah. fucking minutes. Right? To, to hash that out. Yeah. Right? That's all I said. That's all I wanted. And you know what? If they just said, fine, let's do it, then I wouldn't have said... If they do that, I'll never fucking say a fucking word about it again. How about that? All right? Whatever, uh, fucking rapper on God. <laughs> on my mama. <laughs> you know, whatever it is. Scott well, Fitzpatrick says buzz, this is uh, harsh in my this is harsh in my mellow killing my buzz. buzz. Load it up. Uh, no, I, yeah, I don't. This, this is uh this is actually just a little ser you know, we're usually like a light comedy show, but uh, you know, every once in a while it's good to get into a topic like this. Yeah, we and like serious shows. So you know, uh, I, 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 like the, shit, yeah. I like getting I mean, into this, increase man. Increase your buzz, brother. Scotty, <laughs> load it up again. Bubble. Hey, we're talking about her now. Who knows? Ten years from now, the the news might actually pick up on her, make a documentary about her, about all the <laughs> shit she's <was> doing. <laughs> yeah, Zero Dark Tony on BYB was the uh, forefront of all. Yeah, of all that started with Eliza Blue. Who knows? Um, well, yeah, I mean, but I you, you specifically. You were the forefront. Oh no! I, was, I wanted to give you credit for years. like. Okay. I was just the loudest one. I, I, all I did was sort of like nudge a couple people to say, "Hey, just look at this," and they did. Uh, you know, an open secret was already on it. Uh, sexy, they were already tweeting this long before any of us were. But then Mersh came on and was the first one to discuss it on, on his video channels. And then, you know, after I sent the messages to these other people. Then all of a sudden it got run with and, you know, it, it became what it became. And I, and I encourage people, you know, yeah, jump on it. But just say, hey, okay, we screwed this up. But, man, everything else we did right. But, but be precise because people are counting on you. That's your, that's your, that's your public trust. That's, that, that affects the entire ecosystem. That's going to affect your fucking super chats, bro, is if someone doesn't trust her with this big audience, that ripples, man, like a fucking, like a, like a, like a rock in a pond, right? It's just going to ripple out. And you can't have that shit. You got to check it. And if we don't check ourselves, there ain't no man, fucking. That you know, ripples. It ripples, man, like a rock and pond. You dig? You just can't have sell. that, man. You're crazy. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. Great YouTube. Yeah, so. It, but it does seem like uh, no one really believed anything you were saying at first. No. A lot of people. Did really you have any allies have or was it? No. Just yeah, so you mostly had detractors, and that was it. And, huh? and Farron, yeah, and then uh, and then I I went on a, a show um, with somebody named Thermo. I forget the name of the show, but it's it's really great. You'll see it in my in my tweets. Um, on my my head, my memory is not the best right now. Why do I? You were on Why Do I Pod? 
Yeah, I was on Wide Wide Pod. Also, we talked about. It. I went on Lorenzo uh, yeah. Ariola show as well. You know, this, these are just casual conversations about it. You guys have a little more of an organized, you know, um, type of style with with the way you sort of can can bring this out, and uh, and that's great. You know, all, all different oh, points thank of you, view. Man. And Kish 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 is here. Are there any hard Good troll evening. questions? Are there any trolly troll things? Yeah, yeah. How many, How many aliases does yeah. she have? It's not really well, trolly, um, but it is a question one, from the chat. We've got we got uh see if that's a real name. So our aliases it would be a cuts, knolls, um, seep, seep. I, that's her real name now. Uh, so oh, okay. I, I cut knolls, freaking. Uh, I mean, whatever you know. You know, Lexus. Uh, there was one, there was one name, uh, an alias of Trenton that I saw, uh, you know, like all kinds of stuff. I would Jeez. say, I would say from what I've looked into, I, I've seen about 10. Hey, there's your girl right there. Yeah. And so, there you know, is. come to find out, holler, Liza, you come know, on. the, the joke I made was, yeah, you. she, she was trafficked. She was trafficked by herself. I mean, uh, yeah, 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 you know, and also when you go and not only do you do this, but if you're in a, in, a, in a business where you are acquiring other girls for other stuff, you know, look, people get roofied. This, and that. if you are moved from one point to another against your will for a reason that you are not agreeing to, that is being trafficked. That's that's kind of like the way I see it, right? Yeah, she pretends like she was like locked in a dungeon. The like, joke no, I made no. up, right? Why not like just say the joke? The lambs, and he's like fucking oh, telling her to put the here. lotion on her skin, or she gets the hose again. <laughs> Fuck me yeah, up. Put the fucking lotion in the basket. <laughs> I guess he really <laughs> has to point out when he so, makes up a look, joke you know, because like, the, everything the else he says is stolen. I'm not somebody who backs down from something either. I, I'm not. I'm certainly not going to let uh, you know the the people that watch me that that I get messages from that are like, hey, you know. This is important. You know, people that don't want to be um, public, right? <laughs> right. There you go. Thank you. Um, people that don't want to be public. But, but there are people that are injured by And there was Bobby Nick putting his can of cream soda next like to the other 18 cans of and cream And I thought it would be a great idea been drinking for uh, some of these people to also have a, a panel with some survivors, some therapists, some people who have safe houses, get some people talking about this, get the survivors recognized, because that's what this fucks up, man. That's what Eliza is fucking up for people who have a story way Everything worse than mine. is mine, Toby. Pleasant, I am the master, the master of the universe. And I'm the creator, the designer, the author, shit. the pensman, the booksman. And that's yeah, what as I says Defango, don't by. you know? I'm the king of the yeah, Illuminati. Like, uh, I, Look at there's me never, go. Like, survivors of doop, things doop, that doop, doop, don't doop, at least like doop. tell their story. Like well, well, yeah, that's, that's like a, the biggest part of the problem that I have with it is like they all are usually willing to tell their story because what is she trying to say that there's people out there that still hurt her or wouldn't they want to get those people arrested so they don't hurt other people? I, that makes absolutely no fucking sense. If you so, actually care about it. people, you would get yeah. those fuckers arrested. Exactly. So uh, essentially, just like the previous uh, uh, fake uh, trafficking whatever that I dealt with, who claimed that she was running from cartel hitman for three years. Let me tell you something. With cartel hitman, you're lucky if you got three days. Yeah, they ain't going to take three Beach? years to find okay, you. Okay, three years. <laughs> you, ain't run, you ain't going on Instagram doing lives every 20 minutes. <laughs> escaping from the fucking cartel uh whichever cartel it is she didn't even specify which one there are several around the world i mean throw a dart in a country you got a cartel right which one so basically the banking she, cartel right so when she said she left so then well if eliza left someplace where there were other people well then she left them behind and she abandoned them and she's not identifying where they are and there's no reports of anything with her involving anything uh, rescue related. Yeah, you would think if someone did an investigation into her, eventually they would come across even that part of the story. 
it's all it's almost seems impossible or improbable that well she had to show her, her stuff when you're talking about details and 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 survivors and, and details and having a story look she had her own podcast where she had a survivor on that was a legit survivor that gave you know i think she might have had her on and been like whoops maybe i shouldn't have had her, maybe i shouldn't have had her on you know or as she would say yo maybe i shouldn't have had her on and shit that's my impression. Yeah. I think I shouldn't have had her on. So when she had that guest on, that guest gave details, <clears throat> time, places, uh, who, who the people were, right? Anytime I've heard a legit, they have every, look, myself, I remember every fucking detail of what happened. Okay? Down to the second. It's going to be fucking branded in my mind forever. No question. Times, dates, places. And she's not willing to say them out loud to help someone else? Are you fucking kidding me? And she yeah. has no charities that she suggests, like when she was on with Michael Malice. Well, I prefer to give to myself. And then she was on with, I think, Zo what's his name? Zuby? And, yeah, uh, Zuby. I think it was Zuby. Was it Zuby or and then Hotep Bryson Jesus or Bryson? And Ho one of them gave all the super chats to her. So I don't know. Remember which one? Yeah. It was. Uh, so one of those guys gave her all the super chats, and she's like, "Oh, I'm the one that is going." To. Oh, she no. She asked. She was like, "Oh, so you're gonna split the super chats?" That was Zuby, I think. Uh, where she asked for like half of the super chat, she's like, "Oh, you're gonna split the during the show, <laughs> like <laughs> live." Oh, you're coming like, during, your show, during live fucking stream. She fucking tried to take a chunk out. Yeah, yeah. Wow. For sure. And wow. then he, then he was like, "Fuck it, wow. here, have it all." I hey, think lady, he was I like, "I don't, don't want to laugh care. dance, all right? I don't want to laugh dance. I don't want to go to the VIP room." <laughs> oh no, but uh, you don't have your card at the bar. We already charge you for three rounds in the VIP room. So, exactly. I've only heard is that's. Somebody told me that story. That never happened to me. Yeah, so... Uh, Boy, everybody got quiet there for a second. <laughs> about the VIP room. I'm, well, well, I'm, not a very, I'm not a very important person, so I can't relate to that story well, at all. You know Sorry. Yeah. One, of, one of my first jobs was... I was a, One of my first jobs in L.A. when I first got here, I was actually a DJ at a strip club. So I had a, I had oh, a nice. lot of... I had a lot of weird stuff happened then but that's that's a story for another time because uh you know i don't want to overlap some of those stories of what we're talking about here but um you know essentially this is just a, a great opportunity for me to come out and, and say what i had to say and let my um you know i, I don't mind seeing some things in the chat if they're trolly dude if someone's coming at me bring it up no you know, was, they're not oh, no he was just backing us up oh that's uh nice. silk 420 that's said uh or hotel. excuse me oh, i see okay uh, hotep yeah, that was Hotep. Me. That was Hotep that mm -hmm. she asked for half, and then um, and he and he doubled down. Yeah, he was like, "Have it all." Funny. Yeah, does and she has funny, to go she Have one, and does it show the amounts? I mean, look, there are ways for her to. Hey, Stormy, there are ways for her to have so many different angles of revenue here, from her, you know, whatever grift of the ch uh, charity, and I looked up. I also posted some things about um, uh, Richard Morthland, her father, who uh, is a public figure. So I'm saying, yeah, name. politician, he right? Politician who yeah. ran for office. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> you know, I'm not speaking out of turn here because usually In Michigan, I don't maybe, remember. yeah, well, I don't or, uh, Illinois, list. Illinois, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, Illinois. That's a bad look. So I don't like to do that. But he is a public figure, so he also has uh, permits that he filed for for building. On property that I that I found, and uh, you'll see those in my uh, tweeters over there. Is some of the uh, permits for density, which means he wanted to put more properties. Up. Now, was this the the land that was allotted for her, you know, um, rescue place? Her. <laughs> and and then all of a sudden she's at a truck stop. <laughs> yeah, dressed up like a lot lizard for some I reason. I was just about to say a coldest photograph lounge lizard. I call this one, this one I call Lounge Lizard. That's why that picture fooled me. I thought that's exactly right. what the fuck she was trying to... Trucker. Yeah, it looked like she's with some like pimp and getting into a semi to suck someone off. That's that's well, the appearance it gives. Look, that's what it looked like to me. And I'm thinking to myself, wow. Trafficking. 
uh, you know, you're looking at, yeah, like, and, and people really can abuse that term, especially, look, guys, let's just call it like it is. And everybody who's listening to me, especially a woman, can, and, and the other grifters that I dealt with, they're all women, man. So it's really, this is, this is something that's a, a grift that people have overlooked for a long time and haven't really known about. But one of the good things is that she kind of brought it to the forefront a little more. You know, people are going to pay attention now. And I put out a whole thread of a lot of different of these grifters that I've dealt with in the past. And you can go check them out. You know, Madison Marquette, Jesse Zebatar. Let me tell you something about Jesse Zebatar. Because first of all, Madison Marquette is a um, adult film star who I've asked around a little bit in that industry. Let's just say she's a convicted felon and she's talking about carrying a gun in and rescuing kids. Okay, so she posts a thing that she has a gun and she's a convicted felon. She posts a gun. You understand? She's not supposed to even be near guns. Yeah, so then you automatically know this is bullshit, right? Because why would any legitimate organization let her near a fucking gun being a felon, <laughs> right? That just yeah. wouldn't happen. Yeah, you're not even supposed happen. to be in a car with a gun, right, let alone holding one or whatever. Not yeah. even in a house with a gun, man. Yeah, exactly. You know, if it's, and, and if it's not somebody's in the house, man, you're going. So... You know, that's one. This other one, Jesse Sebatar, is like um <laughs> is like she claims this whole satanic connection. It. <laughs> it's just some crazy shit, man. They're, the the things that people believe are wild, bro. Wow. Definitely. Yeah, she brings the noise to Illinois. No, uh <laughs> they're Illinois. making fun of me for saying the S in Illinois. Uh yeah, so and then people started blocking you recently. Um uh, yeah. We know That's what that means. Like Jeremy and like Defango. Jeremy and... did not block me. I have oh, to, okay. I have to From the quartering. Him. Well, because he needs he needs to get his posts, and so he needs he, he needs to regurgitate my stuff, which is happening. And I mean, you know, me and some other people have just kind of seen it in real time. Um, yeah, because I don't he, think Brittany Venti have got there. So he got blocked from Twitter. Period. Right. No, he he was Jeremy while he was back on. Oh, okay. How, yeah. How about uh, like Britney? I believe Britney is still suspended, people. which is wrong. Yeah, it's fucking wrong. You know. Yeah, she of, didn't. She all she did was about. ask like a question about Eliza. Sure, she's so. been in the game a long time. She's made YouTube a lot of fucking money. This is this is a this is above YouTube. This didn't happen at YouTube, guys. Okay, this didn't happen at YouTube. This didn't happen at Google. This didn't even happen at Alphabet. This happened somewhere else. And in three like said, a three uh, letter. A uh, three-letter uh, division, some possibly a lot of uh, a lot of acronyms. Politician. Let's just say a lot of acronyms are involved in this situation. Whether they're three yeah. letters, whether they're a publicity company, that's several, right? You're talking about some. You're talking about some dark shit here, man. And like, and like Jeremy, who is like this, like I call him like Has I call Bobby him Bilbo Nick Bumpkin. Said absolutely nothing. He is a country so ass far. motherfucker, bro. This dude does not know his elbow from his asshole, and that he is getting. <laughs> freaking just sliced and diced right now he looks like a jag off i'm sorry yeah he just is he's not experienced with media he is he has been in this game he got recognition and all this all this notoriety and usually you sort of build up to it right very rarely do you go from zero to a hundred like that but that's kind of what happened with him he's not mentally he's not mentally capable of that this guy is like licking pizza that he's holding with his feet okay so like this fucking let that sink in for a second no this one okay. yeah 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 all right licking pizza that he's holding with his feet all right so that's just what some I, parmesan I actually, cheese on that no i just you know remember the movie multiplicity with uh, michael keaton where they made the clones of him and yeah and it kept him. getting dumber and dumber <laughs> every version yeah right. he's like the fourth <laughs> one right i like pizza right so when you see something like this happen, you're like, wow, this is a whole media company that can, whether, whether they have defamation cases or whatever, you know, they could just start filing shit. They have the money. And Jeremy is a wealthy guy yeah, by this most is standards. Super boring. I'm about you know, to go watch by the most Jersey standards, Shore. Jeremy's a pretty wealthy guy. You guys can stick right? with he's this. Got, he's got a good amount of money from the, the YouTube. He's already. generating so dough, which is great. But when you go and, 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 and,
if you know, want it, they, they're going to make him, the, you know, their if Easter you bonus by getting rid of him is the fucking it. Cadillac. I'll be Second back prize later. set of this steak knives. And make no mistake, they're going for the Cadillac. So they're going to they're going to go they're going to go for it. This is their job. He's just painfully dumb. Fucking idiot. Yeah. Clip it. <laughs> so and then uh, you got I suspended for like. Yeah. You got suspended for a week, right? What what First exactly was, was that for? Time for a week. And, you know, these are these Eliza exploits that are put into the system that that people can can use and abuse of of like mass reporting over things that normally wouldn't get uh, taken out and and con context is always removed and it just is what it is but it seems like some of those things are getting fixed and you know I can only hope for uh, more ability to not have one person be able to go oh this one and when you notice these and I'm going to tell you what happened here if you notice the progression of the notices that a lot of these creators got it started with one. And I said, this is going to happen, right? They're all going to, the legal thing has started. The machine has started rolling. It's not, this, it's a steamroller. It's not going to stop until they're all flattened in the ground with the rest of it. So you have one coming out saying, oh, I got this one. Then another one, because what they're doing is they're reviewing it. Then they take it to their legal department. The legal department goes, okay, let's go. Boom. They have so much, so many resources that even if all these guys banded together, I would just personally, I would, you know, sort of strategize a little bit. I'd back up off of it and just sort of see what happens and then re-upload the shit later. That's just what I would do, you know, because they're just going to, like I said, they're going to be the Christmas bonus, the Easter, the Easter uh, duck. What do you have at Easter? Ham? The Easter ham. <laughs> chocolate bunnies right so i mean you're, you're looking at it at a, <laughs> you're fucking with like a dangerous group of people and they don't even understand that their, their brains are not developed enough yep yeah do you do you think you're gonna have issues going forward uh with like social media and youtube I your always have channel issues, specifically yeah. or I you're always I, I, you're always yeah. having issues yeah dude i mean the guy who does my clips for me who i just hired to start doing my clips uh this guy there we go <laughs> randy See this? This is what happens when you go try and look me up on Facebook. They tell you, hey, hey, before you add this guy, are you mentally okay? Are you all right? Do you, do you want to do something <laughs> yourself? Do you need us to call a friend? Yeah, I'm not cool with a friend. Look at this. <laughs> this. I've never seen this one. I've seen, I've seen you click on it and not be able to add me. I've seen all kinds of shit. This one, this one right here is new. This is special. This is... That's this for is, just him specifically. It's probably been used what hundred uh, times yeah. ever. This is the the meta. This is the meta hit list. Basically, this is the don't let this guy say anything list. I'm or I wonder if it's a message. It's not even like it's not even asking you if you think you're going to harm yourself. It's more like, hey, you what keep going fuck? down this road, you will end up harming yourself. Right. <laughs> this is from here. We just want you to know it's unsafe. You're, you're, you, uh, you remember, you're, uh, it should just say, you remember Epstein, don't you? <laughs> right. I mean, do you want to go down that path? You want to go in that cell? Well, go ahead and press this button. Go ahead and close this window, right? That's and, and you. insane. Wow. It's insane. That I've been yeah, that thinking. shit tripped me out when I saw that. I just saw that one this morning and I was like, what the fuck? I've never heard of such a thing. That's, I was on Parlor a long bizarre. time ago and I had quite a big following on Parlor and I was thrown off of Parlor. Uh, when they switched up their stuff because I was putting up a lot of I was going to some of the you know uh, Chinese sites and bring a lot of really graphic imagery into the parlor scene to show you know some of what's really going on so people can just understand the imagery right this was not CP okay this was not CP imagery right um, right so, which should be tagged immediately with their algorithms but, but necessarily right. yeah, yeah just this, looking this had, at your main site Right. This is this was uh, this was a lot of different things, but that it wasn't. So um, you know, showing some of those some of those images and some of the some of the places and some of the processes that happen and some of the rituals. You know, you, you, you look deep into this, and you can go down a very deep, dark place. But the point is, is that everybody should be 
free of their own will to do what they want, to say what they want, to be who they want, just as long as you don't hurt people who can't defend themselves. You know, uh, that's really just kind of the way I look at it. I'm not yeah. a political person. I think they're all corrupt. You know, um, I think it's ridiculous what happens in, in, in politics and how divisive it is and how it means that so many people won't even talk to each other because of, because of who it's ridiculous to me. So, you know, yeah, that's are. why I got rid of, I got rid of Facebook cause I got sick of arguing with family members about right. politics all the fucking time. And I just got, it's like, I'd rather just know you as a person and not like, cause uh, your politics drive me insane. And I just want to get away from that <laughs> shit. It's like, Jesus yeah. criminy. I'd rather, oh, I, I never would have known that about you. It's almost that time of year will be, but another year from now, that'll be a big thing again. The election's what? coming up. Yeah. It, oh, you know, look, this whole yeah, cycle yeah. of, of yeah. Yeah. yeah, of let's, you know, let's, let's try and just distract and, and, and diffuse and, and, and deflect. And, you know, I mean, if everybody looks up, you know, look, if people have, have if people have not heard of MK Ultra, look it up. If people haven't Operation heard of Operation Paperclip, Mockingbird, Northwoods. Mockingbird, Paperclip, Northwoods, you know, look yeah, up yeah. these things and, and just Tonkin. learn. Yeah. Gulf of Tonkin, uh, the, the Reichstag fire, like just look up what these things are, their historical significance. And, you know, I have some documentaries that I'm working on. I'm going to be traveling to uh, Bariloche, Argentina, and I'm going to be searching for um, uh, Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Yeah. Well, there's yeah. a reason they found Eichmann and fucking Barbie and uh, uh, Mangala. Fuck, you, you name there, it. They found are, them all down there. Now, here's the thing. There are people with Nazi uh, and Spanish bloods, bloodlines that have combined now, and they live in the houses that belong to the family still live there. So, so there's a lot to uncover down there. I'm also going to be embedding at the um, Arizona uh, border uh, with Mexico going to be embedding with a church group there that uh, and we're going to do this all documentary style uh, we're going to be seeing how they operate and how they get kids that are actually in danger out of danger right so we're just going to leave it at nice. that um one one piece of footage that i i have seen is um is cartel members bringing across the border about 80 uh people at one time pro probably women they all had burkas and a suitcase they were covered up they were being led in the line on a chain Right, they're all on the chain, just like you know when you get locked up. You're on the chain, Slaves. and they're walking, they're, and they're walking them across the border. Everybody's quiet, and it's you know these cartel tactical gear and very very serious stuff going on down there. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring some of that out so people could see really what's happening. Yeah, man. yeah, that'll be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, how about uh, all these beasts and stuff? Do you, I mean, do you think that most of your uh, detractors are you gonna in the future, you're going to uh, have less problems with them because you've I mean, been right. complimentary and reasonable lately. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I am dead balls on accurate. So there's really no detracting. Uh, detract away. I'm right. Dead dead ass. That's it. End hey, the can story. I? And the story yeah. of that. Can I'll take your question. <laughs> <laughs> I first came across you a few months ago. You were in uh, the Uncle Rico chat. Is that like your favorite comedy show to watch? Podcast. I really do. Those guys go. make me laugh my ass off. So to me, that's very funny. You know, that Zero kind Doc of Tony, super, chat. super chat. Super <laughs> chat. Dear Doc Tony. 999. <laughs> and speaking of, you know, make sure you guys uh, hit the like button if you're in here. Hit the like button. I yeah. just turned on the comments, so I yep. see something over here. And I am so metal. You are absolutely right. So metal. <laughs> yeah. That was my nickname. That's how I signed my yearbook. Yeah. It's so metal. <laughs> Tony So nice. Metal. Hey, look at that. I think I have a new channel name. Tony So Metal. Tony So Metal. There you go. Hey, there you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> what, do, what do you think about uh, Elon? Smash being... my button. I think Elon is a... Um, um, do you think he has anything to do with this particular story? Do you think he's in or around? the? Because she seems to be getting away with a lot of shit on Twitter. Twitter and uh, like, not, like people aren't 
looking into her, but they're instead taking out everyone that seems to go after her. Really, I'm going to eat now. Well, so it, it's a, weird, I like, she has a, this show an alliance creepy, with someone at kinda Twitter. Kind of awesome in a way. Because like. it's just this Holy creepy fucking weirdo Elon sitting is, in a puddle uh, of his own shit, smoking I mean, cigarettes I, I, like a pervert. We all know how quickly he has responded show. to other things. It's kind of amazing. Things that are yeah, they're usually a little slower about stories, right? Silent Bob! I mean, wouldn't you think that... Nick... First of okay, all, eat. and then he's putting up, oh, we're, we're I'm finally doing it again. I finally, oh, I can finally breathe now. Shut up. <sighs> you know, just like you guys are going to have to face this. And there are a lot of things about the Elon rabbit hole that are very interesting. One of the things about the publicity firm that I'm talking about is that a lot of people don't know that uh, Elon's mother is May Musk. And if you look up May Musk, May Musk is represented by... CAA, Creative Artist Agency. And um, yeah, uh, well, he's also, also his parents have, run a emerald mine in South oh, Africa, yeah, and Zambia. like he comes so from huge father. money, right? Yeah. So his father in Zambia, but along with that, that's where um, Bill G has allegedly done some uh, medical experimentation in the area, if you know what yeah, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, um, thanks for not using general. the actual words, yeah. right? <laughs> and the yeah, names. Kind of, yeah. I see what you're exactly. dancing around there. You yeah, know yeah. what I'm talking about. You know so, exactly what you're talking about. So he did some of his work down there. So that's uh that's that's the allegations. Those are the reports. And and you're talking about uh his father who is a Masad? reportedly an abominable human being who and possibly who a Mossad agent. Right, but also <laughs> allegedly impregnated his stepsister. Mm. Hello. Right. Hello. Allegedly. Yeah. That sounds real good. Hello. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah, right. Yeah. So going down that rabbit hole and getting into CAA and then in turn understanding that CAA is absolutely in control of this media firm, which goes up the chain a little bit to some, you know, to some, you know, let's just say the opposite of white pebble. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, a very big, big company. Like, think of the Prudential ad. And you'll know what I'm talking about. But that yeah, being yeah. said, you're you know, using you're the opposites. These, yes, yeah, these other, these, the other, these other companies are absolutely, they could flip the switch anytime, man. Really. I mean, they're just that powerful. I mean, all you have to do Seems is look that at way. the things that Anthony Pelicano did. You take Anthony Pelicano and multiply and multiply him by a fucking thousand, and that is what they're dealing with. Yeah, because he just got better at it. Since him, they learned from him. They're buying up America like one little piece at a time. It looks like they'll own America before we know it. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, you know that the, all they have is is just a bunch of hardcore contractors from different organizations just working for them, and they know all the shit. I mean. It's, painfully dumb and and it's a shame because uh i liked i, I kind of like making videos <laughs> and now they're gonna ruin it for everybody oh yeah, cool yeah, yeah so, so uh, like button, ladies and gentlemen make sure you smash that like button thanks for joining us here on the byb so, uh, speaking okay. of metal i i had that clip from uh fred durst when oh, he got funny. involved the other night because the guy calls himself the little <laughs> fred durst <laughs> And then this clip was, he saw this clip and he even commented on how fucking creepy it was, but I wanted to play it for everyone. Available to have a sex oh, with this individual. Know. This and is then the also weirdest thing a for a sex. Acknowledge that there are a sex many, trafficking, yeah, a a trafficking victim to for say sure, this it. is the most bizarre shit I've it's ever heard. Creepy as it gets. Acknowledge that there are many people who are you know 13 14 15 that have sex with an adult and then feel as if they were taken advantage of too oh 100 percent. okay okay so let's focus many, on the many, worst many, many. okay yeah. so so let's let's pretend like we all have our like utopia so if if, if i could um, answer this in utopia right am i like uh you know perfect oh, utopia. Cap, utopia each community each community <laughs> and each um so it'd be each caregiver parent why oh you including teachers oh. um potential faith leaders and neighbors will decide if the child is ready to consent 
and and look at the child's behavior. Do they have a job? What, How is their education me. going? Are they cognit are they cognitively available to have uh, sex with this individual? And then um, also okay. look at the history of the individual oh. as well. So does this um, does this individual have a history of abuse? Um, yep. And then you go from there. Certainly, why are they not? Are they agree are they're agreeing with yeah, it? Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh, that's a fantastic Jesus. idea. That's a great idea. Thanks oh, for saying God. that. Oh, that's the part. Something. That is the creepiest part of all of that. That those two guys were sitting there shaking their heads yes while she's talking about it possibly being okay for a child to make up their own no. mind whether or not it's okay to have sex with an adult as young as what thirteen? She was saying. What yeah, let's just fuck? interview them a couple times oh, and then we'll just interview them and then together or something. And then like, okay. It's it's so painfully dumb. And right when that was said, like these guys should have been like, you know what? Thank you. Uh, thanks for ruining the whole fucking thing. We got to shut it all down because we can't Goodbye. put this out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. We better we better erase this right. The, well, you know they they put it out there, and I'm glad that they did because now you can see. Yeah. Fuck yeah. What the fuck is that? Put yeah, a stormy that's insane. Comment. <laughs> That's rough. As an, that's that's, that's kind of real rough. Let's see what she says. As an actual advocate for children within an advocacy facility, a child cannot consent and no one consent for a child. More Absolutely. Sure. Leave kids that. the fuck alone. Leave kids alone. How about that? And then, yeah. uh, I mean, didn't everybody listen to the Pink Floyd song? Hey, right. yeah. teacher. Yeah. Keep, yeah. Keep Lay those, those kids, kids alone. alone. That's right. Yeah, man. Uh, in your pants. Or the police song, right? Yeah. Don't stand so close to me. Fuck, yeah. get away. <laughs> no, but I, I really don't understand. And Fred Durst did see that post, and he actually was like, what the fuck is going on here? And then he <laughs> called the guy out. He's like, the real yeah. Fred Durst? What do you mean? Who's using my name here? And then he was like, this ain't cool. Yeah, exactly. And then he was like, and then he watched the video, obviously, because he said, that's some creepy shit going on here. He's like, yep. Yeah. He's got like, a every, idea. Everybody saw that. Guaranteed thought that was a creepy shit. How does how does how does that not getting out there for uh, whoever the betters are? I don't know who her betters are, but man, if they saw that, that should be the end of her period, right, right. there. Right, and uh, yeah. and a lot of these other things that have have come out and been found and that have been censored because they're just shown. I mean, this just this makes me think that even though we found these these escorting service ads and we found these 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 disgusting comments about having to vet 13, 14, and 15 year olds. Let me tell you something. No bueno. No. Absolutely not. This cannot, should not, and the fact that Elon is not addressing this shows me, me anyway, just in my opinion, that he doesn't give a fuck about any of this and it's some kind of Makes you i don't know what kind of play this is i don't know he, what it he's is he's a showman he's a showman right the guy with the big he's, top just, he's, just self, he's a self-promoter yeah he's a self-promoter yeah, the ringleader yeah 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 the ring master master like, that's like they call him right they call him the ring master right especially if you have slaves red, right red then you're really the tail. master yeah i mean look it's it I think there are a lot of things about these Maxwell lists that need to be released and brought out, but but these people are so high up and so connected, and 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 they're at the very center of political decisions, financial uh, institutions, uh, you know, pharmacy, uh, pharmaceutical companies, right? I don't like saying big this or that big pharma big tech but, but you know if you say that you're a big fucking dummy right because you know let's try and be specific there are plenty of specifics that we could use when we're talking big tech it's alphabet and meta that's it those that they they run the show and anyone in involved in that is the, the government just does not let this stuff go without being monitored and 
you know, when you talk about an oh, yeah. operation with the NSA <clears throat> and, a, and something like what's called key score, which you'll find in, in my shorts here on my YouTube channel. So go sub to my YouTube channel. You'll see uh, the shorts in there. And one of them is about the NSA programs that you should know about. One of them is key score. And all they had to do was they could track your emails, your passwords, everything, recording all of your telephone conversations. Uh, years back, they have the technology to actually store them as well. So, yeah, mega data, metadata, yeah, so, right? Yeah, so storage back. back back decades and then you know you have you have things about uh, weather control i mean you know a lot of these things are not uh, the things that i go after i i make sure that harp. i can find verifiable fact right that's the harp system yep yeah the harp harp system yeah. up there in alaska university Absolutely. of alaska yeah. yeah cause like out here in oregon i know like you can go have an abortion you can go get a vaccine uh there's a bunch of stuff you can do when you're 14 years old so it's almost like you know, with uh, and then you got you know, Ooh. like uh, drag queen story hour, and then you see all these videos, of all these people like fighting the tranny, whatever that sex show for kids. It's 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 all headed that direction. Like they're trying to make it okay in our society <laughs> to like the state has more control over your kids than you do, and then all this <laughs> other stuff is going on that they're trying to make acceptable in our society. Well, it's that's disgusting. what you just saw. That's what you just saw Eliza doing, you know, that's normalizing enough. the P word. Kabish. Normalizing yeah. the P word. That's Absolutely, what she's doing. Man. She is fucking normalizing it. It's disgusting. It's, yeah, yeah, it is. It's so gross. Make me fucking sick as a father. It's I mean, how can, how can, how could this dude sit there and say that he stands for anything and not and not get on this fucking immediately? Get her the fuck out of there. Like, that's what I would do. I'd be like, okay, sweetheart, thank you. Uh, we got to bring in somebody who, I, 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 my bad, I rolled in here a little, I came in a little hot, right? So this is another thing where, where, where Elon could correct a mistake. This makes people trust you more when you just admit it. That's all there is to it. You're building trust when you do that because you're saying, hey, I made a mistake. So if he comes out and says, hey, look, <clears throat> let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about Eliza. She works her fucking dick like, like a magician. She makes it all she disappear the whole fucking bit. She fucking, you know. So if he came out and said, oh, my God, I'm so sprung on this fucking girl. I made a mistake. Whatever it is, he's he's not made uh, all these great decisions with his relationships. I actually have a video about a lot of his, you know, relationships and his wife, his ex-wife, getting up and and doing a whole TED talk about him. Essentially, you know, she's very fascinating. I forget her name, um, but she was the first. She was the first uh, wife, right? When he first started, when he crashed the car, whatever. Yeah. So when you go back into this guy's history, you see just a lot of patterns of fucking up with women. I mean, you know, when you have that kind of deal, I guess you can support it, but you know, it's a bit much when when it when it looks like you're favoring a young lady uh, instead of survivors who are exploited. That's where I'm at with it. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I did. I saw your homie uh, Mar Mersh. Mm-hmm. And I know he's like battled with uh, Anthony in the past and whatnot. I, mm -hmm. um, but I also I saw him on uh, Chrissy's show last night. Mm -hmm. um, That's good. Yeah, I'm glad that they that they had finally had him on about this specifically. I didn't watch it. I'm I'm protesting that show. <laughs> yeah, but it was yeah, uh, Simcast. I know. Yeah. I know we probably yeah, we went know. live right at the end of uh, Wet Spot. I didn't get to watch any of that tonight, but typically those kind of Mersh is Mersh is a savvy motherfucker. He knows exactly how to handle a situation, and and I, uh, from what I understood, he walked in there and uh, kicked the door open and took over. No, yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I, 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 watch I watched it. I watched most of it last night, <clears throat> the Simcast one. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was, it was a good, good show. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he's oh, nice. respectful and whatnot, and. Uh, yeah. He had a lot to say for sure. They talked a lot about the Eliza Blue, and he uh, was he like the first person that showed you that, or was it other people you just saw the Eliza Blue no, stuff? No, he come was up the with? first person that I saw that was a significant creator 
talk about it on his channel on on video. Yeah. Right? The other ones were past tweets from like 2021, right? Like the the ones with the girl and this, you know. So they're from 2021. I just started to gather information and I started to take it down the CAA. I, I had like a different, you know, kind of vibe on it. You can see my thread just kind of like a different vibe. Some other people put different ones. It's good that we all brought it uh, brought it out there. But Mersh was, like I said, the first significant creator that came out and started to talk about it. And then, you know, he mentioned, he gave me a shout out on his uh, show. And then people started, you know, coming to my channel. And then we both got a lot of shit. That's when people were like, oh, you're a scumbag. You should, you know, you should see some of the, I posted a couple of them. Some of the stupid threats and what people say. They're ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I hope that I hope what happened to you as far as the car and stuff had nothing to do with any of this. I'm a, I, I should, hope and pray I that. Yeah. I, cause that's, that's crazy, man. I, I just, whatever. Uh, prayers for that shit. Just glad to well, be here. I appreciate it, boys. Yeah, man. Yep. So what's your, uh, what's your next step? What's, uh, what's well, next you know, for... I, got, I got this all put together. I think I worked out some of the glitches. I've hired a producer um, who lives out here in uh, L.A. Um, who's going to come and help me with some stuff. And I've hired some other guys in some different places to do some other things. So I got kind of like a team that I brought together that that are going to uh, bring out. I'm, I'm working on something. And another thing that upset me with this whole deal is that. And Jeremy and Adam have not verified the source of their coffee and i'm going to be doing a whole um expose on for 14 16 like, hours uh, a day. like child exploitation yes, maybe child right. slave labor and and that is exactly what we're talking about here and if jeremy's not verifying what he does he doesn't know shit about the coffee business uh actually uh, the ceo of black rifle coffee contacted me as a result of my post and he hired he hired a compliance officer to audit oh yeah i saw that on coffee. twitter he was like bitching and moaning yeah. Yeah. yeah i saw that the other day you were yeah. tweeting about it yeah. So, you know, I, I made enough noise that this huge coffee company has hired a compliance officer. I am actually doing something about it. So uh, people can say whatever the fuck they want. Uh, let me know when a CEO of a major multimillion dollar company gets back in touch with you to try and solve a problem and then go fuck yourself. Yeah, it's like <laughs> Elon. I know he he probably gets cobalt from mines from Africa where there's probably fucking mine the little kids are probably mining the cobalt like oh, the yeah. the gold mines over there and i'm sure maybe even his emerald mine who knows right well i put up a post about what i'm calling the the video and it's going to be kind of documentary style it's got to be you know 12 to 16 minutes can't be too long but uh we're going to call it uh blood coffee right so blood it's very coffee. much blood diamond so we're calling it blood, blood diamonds coffee. blood coffee that's yeah. fantastic and i'm calling it uh and, and it's it's blood coffee youtube's darkest secret <laughs> so nice that's what it's about yeah you got anything else you want to plug or like upcoming yeah. events or is that pretty much Look, cover no, everything everybody just go subscribe to my stuff i'm shadow banned i'd really appreciate it if you went like and shared um, oh yeah, definitely. Man. I, I'm, I'm definitely. a monetized partner on all platforms except Twitter, so it really just helps if you just watch my stuff. You know, and you, like you said, you're you're taking a break for a little bit. You get you're getting your guys. I've been ready on a place. break. I just have you to, think you'll probably another month or so you'll get into the groove of doing your show again. Hopefully, hopefully less. Zero I mean, you know, dark Tony I another, a is a bitch. He said he was going to go hard Nightmares. on Chrissy May so and Frank Pellegrino, and, and if he you, you go to that, that's what we're going to start. You know, we're going to do exactly like Kitchen Nightmares. We're going to identify I wasn't the problems. Here. We're going to roast uh, them. Then we're going to bring them in and Tee. fix it. And that's where the twist is. is I'm going to actually help people get equipment, donations. We're going to make sure that we could, you know, sort of get them on the right foot and put them in the right Dude, direction. Dude, that's like, that's like a perfect them. idea for a show. That's like fucking yeah, man, awesome. It's, <laughs> and we wrote, but then we give them a little love at the end, and then they could sort of go yeah, on, yeah. and then we're going to come back and visit them later, and it's going to be a great show. I'm really looking forward to helping, and Lorenzo Ariola is going to be our first guest. So we're going to help him out. He's a great guy. And free Lorenzo Ariola on Twitter. Ariola. He got suspended. Awesome. Yeah, definitely. Unban yeah. him. Unban well, everybody. 
Hell yeah. Push the push. Quit the banning. Eden Bruce. Quit the censorship. Quit the banning. Quit the yeah. bullshit. Cut for it sure. out. For sure. And even if you have talking to you, Elon. Them, yeah. It doesn't yeah. mean that they should be deplatformed or canceled. I never would call for that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm, I'm just so saying, proud hey, you know, of like, we're talking to you, Elon. Before you wreck it, wreck it, wreck yourself. Check awesome. yourself before you wreck yourself. Well, thank you so I much for coming right. on, Tony. Uh, you, man. You're the man. You're goddamn right. All well, right. Bruce laid Thanks down so the knowledge, guys. Tune in I mean, and have a great night. It, it, it doesn't like get much more knowledge than mm-hmm. that. Woohoo! It's over. <laughs> Bye. I had to fight my whole life.